Welcome back to Travel Advisors. This is episode 19 of Two BDMs and a Mic. My name is James Ayers, and I am joined by Christy Konopaki, my co-host. Christy, how are you? I am doing good, James. How are you today? Amazing. You know, I moved last week, right? And so I kind of took the week off, shut all my phones off, do all this stuff. And, you know, I finished all the editing with our podcast with Chad uh, over the weekend, posted everything. Everything went live on Monday. Uh, of course, today we are offic- uh, like fully live. And then what, maybe Friday morning, I woke up and I was like, let me just check in, see kind of what's what's going on. I pulled up YouTube and lo and behold, uh, at the time it had a thousand views and I was like, whoa, it's finally starting to catch on like the YouTube version of it. Cause that's the post edited version of the show. And, um, this morning as a, actually, as of right now, Christy, it's at 3.6 thousand views. Oh, look at us growing. Amazing. Uh, 420 subs. So thank you guys so much. Uh, honestly, it means a lot. And we hope you guys keep pushing out the word because big things are coming. Like I said, we are trying to grow that side of things and we want to do something great for everyone towards the end of the year with going to the resort and an event and there more more to come uh, once we get th- through some of these uh, spring events. But um, before we go into more of that, Christy, yes, you, guest with you today. Yes, I brought another special guest from the Midwest. So some of you might have the pleasure of knowing you, knowing her, and some might not yet. But I'm so happy to introduce the Senior Regional Sales Manager for the Midwest region, Miss Michelle Huggins. How are you doing today, Michelle? Hi, everybody. I'm doing really well. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Well, we've got lots to talk about today, so you'll get to hear a little bit more about Michelle, her history. We'll also be talking about some excursions that we participated in in St. Vincent while we were there. But before that, I just want to shout out to those Midwest listeners Thank you for being on this page. You are currently carrying the most amount of views. Love to see that, y'all from the Midwest. So thank you so much for the support. Uh, James, what type of housekeeping do we have going on today? Listen, you're you're throwing some shade right now. So <laughs> I would like all of my advisors in my territory to get off Christie's page, yeah, been... watching it from her page, and join <laughs> The Western region or my opinion. Oh, look at those numbers move. Look at those numbers move live. They're <laughs> dropping live and switching over. It's unbelievable. Oh, um, no, but in all honesty, uh, as far as Monday, just so you guys know, Monday's always live or we, the original post of the podcast. We want you, this is your chance to watch it live. And the reason to join on Monday, the number one reason is so that you can interact with us in the comments and the chat and stuff like that. Well, look, we've already got a comment. West is the best, not the mid. Um, so <laughs> hi, Brittany. I'm not a sweat, but Texas represent. <laughs> I knew Stephanie was watching with you. Um, so this is this is your chance to interact with the show. So the whole purpose of joining on Monday is so you can interact with us, get us in the hot seat, ask the questions, whoever get whatever guests we have. We try our best to always be live on Monday. And then if you notice the YouTube version of the show or the audio version of the show is the cleaned up version of the show. Uh, that's why we try to describe things so much without pictures or videos. Cause there are a lot of audio listeners. Thank you so much. That jumped up in a spike this week as well on, uh, Spotify, Apple podcast, all, all that as well. So if you actually here, we'll just pop up. This is kind of where you can find us on all the platforms. Everything's at two mediums and a mic it's completely spelled out. Uh, but that's where you want to join. If you don't have time to watch on Monday, again, Monday is to interact with us. All the other ways are to watch it post because no one wants to go through the Facebook feeds, right, Michelle and Christy, like trying to scroll through, where was the video? Where was the video? Just go to Two Mediums and a Mic, YouTube, or the audio platforms if you want to listen to it that way. And and the episodes are, you know, set up there. Uh, um, again, this is episode 19. Oh, wait, oh you got I was, something to say. I, was gonna sneak in. I mean, I can't really think of a better way to start your week than hanging out with James, myself, and whichever guest we have on. I mean, I think we're pretty funny sometimes. And, you know, we've got some good information coming for you today as well. So we do have some housekeeping. And Christy, I believe you have a brand new booking bonus that was announced. Yeah, so we have a brand new uh, booking bonus that was actually announced today. So for a limited time, for those who are making those direct bookings, of course, you can earn up to 
or 22 percent on like, wow, 2000 22 <laughs> percent so that means if you are making bookings to jamaica the bahamas curacao and St. Vincent, you will receive an extra 4% bonus on Butler level suites with an 85% cash bonus, a 3% bonus on those club level suites with a $60 cash bonus and a 2% bonus on those luxury level rooms. So this is from now until April 30th of this year. And the travel window will be from April 1st until the end of the year. So what better time to make some bookings to this brand new resort, to Curacao, to Exuma, NASA, and then of course, Jamaica and make a little bit extra money doing it when you book directly. I love how they, listen, I, I'm making fun of us a little bit here, but I love how the travel window is April 1st through December 31st. I'm telling you right now, if I have an advisor, if any of you out there book a trip that your client checks in by the end of today, I will give you a couple of free nights. I will figure out a way to make to have, have it. <laughs> So if you're able to take advantage of this, Listen, and not that you booked them this morning. I don't want to hear that you jumped on the East and saw all the promos. I'm saying from three o'clock central time on, if somehow you end up with a guest there uh, that you book at this point and they go straight in, you let me know and I will take care of you. Uh, a couple of other promotions. We've got the Sandal St. Vincent Air Credit consumer promo. Uh, so the booking window is March 27th to April 17th. The travel window is March 27th to January 31st of 2025. Up to $1,500 air credit varies by room category, travel month, and length of stay. Travel period is five nights or longer. Uh, then we've also got the top travel advisor SSV contest. The booking window is the same. Uh, the start is the same, March 27th through May 8th of 2024. The travel window is March 28th through December 31st at the end of this year. The top four travel advisors in the U.S. in the USA with the highest revenue will win a six-day, five-night stay in a Butler suite at Sandal St. Vincent. Direct bookings with UVI only. Now, so. me and J- or James and myself, we expect you know one from Texas and one from Minnesota to be going <laughs> on this trip. So reach out to us if you want some tips and tricks on you know how how can I sell this resort better? You know. How can I overcome the air for reach out to us with any questions? Now is the perfect time to ask any of those questions in those com- in the comments. Uh, we love interacting like James talks, talked about. I feel like Michelle, she's getting ready to talk. She's like, yeah. is it my she's, turn yet, guys? I'm just wait, so wait, excited. Got more, I mean, talk- got one more thing. What? One more thing. <laughs> I'm just, it's it's to... about this. How exciting to win a butler suite at Sandal St. Vincent. Those rooms, oh. Just ridiculous come true so that's a like, great honestly mm-hmm. you know what i liked about them michelle we talked about this with chat if you missed the episode go back to youtube watch episode 18 that's the one that's that's blowing up there's a lot of detail in that but i really like the fact that this this resort it, it was funny chad made the comment like oh we're gonna go see another room you know how resort tours are after you a couple hours in you're kind of like mm-hmm. let's go I- you can only hear and we're walking so many times no. but every time we went into another butler room it was completely different completely like this different. is a resort that you could go to multiple times mm-hmm. and get multiple different views mm-hmm. and we didn't even you know i watched the the podcast back this morning we didn't even touch on the uh river view rooms oh yeah oh mm-hmm. they've got that river that runs behind with the, you know, the calming stream of water and all that. Like there's a whole nother thing. So last thing for housekeeping that we're going to jump in with Michelle here. Uh, this is from Wendy White. If you need to know the exact details, we will put this on Tuesday and on the audio podcast, we'll put the links, but this Wednesday, April 3rd at six Eastern time and April 17th, which is also Wednesday at six Eastern time. It is the, uh, April virtual party dates for a wedding. So this is what Wendy says. Good morning, travel advisors. The April virtual party dates are now live for registration. Please share with your potential destination wedding couples to learn more about our program and Red Lane Spa incentive they receive when they book with you. So we will put the link and everything in the description of this episode on, like I said, on the YouTube and the audio platforms. But now let's dive in. We've got Michelle, we've got our guest, and I know we're going to talk about the excursion that we went on when we're in St. Vincent. But let's, uh, Christy, go ahead and introduce Michelle a little bit more and, and let's get to know where she comes from, what she does, what's a, what is a senior regional sales manager? You know, that's, that's what a lot of people want to know. Yeah. So for those that might not be too familiar with the Midwest management, this is Chad 
Kruger's counterpart. Uh, so they work very well together. I'm very blessed and lucky to be under them and have them as my management. Um, but Michelle, do us the honor. Tell us a little bit about your history with sandals. You know, how'd you end up here and how'd yeah. you end up back? For sure, for sure. I do have a unique history and background with the company. Um, I started off as a travel advisor in Omaha, Nebraska, and I moved up to northern Minnesota. So I was in Minneapolis for a while and I applied for the position in Minnesota and I interviewed with Garth Laird, who you guys have all had a chance to meet. And they had actually already hired somebody for that position, but he said, do you want to move to Ohio? So Don Volte was just promoted to uh, the regional director for the Midwest sales team. So I took over for her in Ohio and I had all of Ohio. I lived there for about a year or so. And then I got a phone call again from Gar saying, you know what, we need you in Chicago. Can you move? And I, I hadn't even fulfilled my lease there, I think yet. And I picked up and I moved to Chicago and um, was the BDM in Southern Illinois. So uh, Renee Battles, a uh, former uh, territory and uh, worked for the company for about five years and then uh, got married, had two kids. And uh, after I had my son, I decided I wanted to stay home with him and practiced a little more travel and took a whole nine years off <laughs> and I came back a little over three years ago, um, I've been back and I took over the, the Northern Illinois Territory and then was promoted to senior um, business development manager and then to senior regional sales manager um, about two years ago now. And uh, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. So yeah, senior regional sales manager, what the heck do we do? <laughs> like what's the director do if you're doing this or that? But <laughs> my my day to day is it's different all the time. I'm on the road a lot. I travel quite a bit, but I really work hand in hand with the business development managers. So um, going out in the territory, doing lots of sales calls. I got to visit uh, Tennessee, Ohio. Um, where else did I go this year? Uh, Michigan, just getting out on the road and um, doing the the good old fashioned sales calls, getting out there to meet the advisors. But I'm always just another um, another step or another um, another person that someone can reach out to when the local business development manager isn't available or if somebody's taking a long vacation time and the intern BDM. Um, and then I work directly with Chad to kind of make strategies for um, the Midwest and growing our business there and um, had a lot of fun with the Midwest Rising Stars this year. Uh, but it's a little bit of everything, um, doing all the things, including being a bartender every once in a while when we're down at the resort, <laughs> need somebody to hop in and take care of everybody or, you know, all the fun things. Um, but yeah, back I'm located in the Chicago area. I will say that you guys uh, do a lot of handholding. You you help us BDMs look like rock stars, right? So a lot of times, you know, my advisors have, have I've been here long enough that they know they're like, oh, you'll get the answer. Yeah, you're looking, you're looking into the answer, meaning I'm calling Ian and he's going to give me the answer. <laughs> I love it. We're the man behind the curtain. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yeah. absolutely. Now I did save you time i did not ask you to come to north dakota in the winter time and i'm so excited to have you come this summer but it's going to be a little bit warmer out there so you don't have to bundle up when it's negative 30 degrees out there thank you thank <laughs> you i have seen the movie fargo i would like to come in the summer thank you <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing yes well, Michelle, thank you for sharing that about you. Um, if there is one piece of advice you could give travel advisors at this very point, we love putting our listeners on a little bit of a spot. What would that advice be to those travel advisors listening? You know, it's really connecting with your BDM. Um, that is your your go-to for literally everything. And I, I hope that that's not one that's been said every single time for a piece of advice for a travel advisor. But connecting with your lo local business development manager, if for some reason you're not connecting well with them, that's where the senior regional sales managers, you know, me, Ian, Ashley Beatty, Anita, we can all be an additional um, step for you. So anything that you need, you can reach out to your senior regional sales managers as well. And just creating that relationship and, um, you know, seeing what can happen from there. We've got a lot of exciting things coming up and some things that maybe not everyone even knows about yet. So I don't want to um, spill any beans, but there's always great opportunities. And so just making those connections so you can be the, the first 
thought that somebody has when um, a great opportunity comes up and you can get invited to some pretty cool stuff. Absolutely. Yes. Lots of fun stuff coming up. But first, we have to talk about uh, St. Vincent and the island itself. Last week, we covered a little bit of a sneak peek of the resort. So now we're going to talk about the island, what there is to do, the culture, all of that. So uh, James, why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know, the the first part of our excursions, Mr. Movie Guy. First, first of all, before we jump into that, I just want to give a shout out, which I'm very disappointed. Uh, supposedly, this person is an avid listener of the show, and they should be listening right now. <laughs> but it's very shameful that the two of you have not given a shout out to your director, Chad Kruger, as it today is his uh, birthday. Yesterday was it his was, birthday. It was actually yesterday. Well, and... no, I just see all the posts today, and you guys can't even acknowledge him. Maybe that's <laughs> Happy birthday, Chad. Not, not, there, see, look, there he is. <laughs> I've been waiting. I've been Chad, like, oh, sorry. The Western you region, were the worst. I was worried about you. Happy birthday, sir. I was sorry, saving the best information you. for last, James. Way to ruin nice it. Nice try. Yes, nice you try. had a whole plan, you, James. Listen, I'm sure you did. You I'm sure you guys talked a lot sorry, about Chad. it in the, in the pre production. Blame James um, for that one. So the excursion and Chad, feel free to jump in with your comments here because, because you were here. And guys, ask questions. This is why you're here on the live version of the show. Ask questions as we go through. Um, the first thing on the way to this, we stopped. This is where we stopped at. Uh, I know we made some some posts about this, some stories when we were there, Christy. We tried we tried to check in a little bit, uh, but we stopped at the area where they film at the Port Royal scenes for Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, one of my favorite film franchises of all time. And be uh, on the way there, it is it is a decent trek. And Michelle, we talked about this last week with Chad. And I know you're the perfect person to talk about this. Everybody's mm -hmm. worried about taking any kind of excursion, uh, especially driving because of being nauseous and things like that. And Chad kind of described it wasn't that bad. Now, I, I sat pretty close to you on, on the bus, and I don't remember you really having too many issues either. Do you, do you find this to be kind of an easy trek, even though it's a little bit longer and windy? I am going to be honest. I do not find it to be easy. It was it was some, definitely something where I did feel I needed the Dramamine, but I am 100% a passenger, passenger princess. I ride in a cab here in Chicago and I get sick going a block. So I'm probably the worst, the highest scale of it. So I highly recommend if somebody is going on a tour and they do mention that they do get car sick, recommend bringing your little ginger snacks and your um your dramamine but i would do it every single day if i had the opportunity it was well worth it it was so fun i would not stay back and not enjoy those tours because of it um the uh, okay. the fun definitely outweighs any of the motion sick that you could have but people that get motion sick they know what to do they know to sit towards the front they know to get fresh air they know to have something to drink so but it's fun it's the island itself so um i'm not gonna jump into it too much already but yeah just just yeah. the trip to seeing the port royal area that we went to uh, the view of the island is constantly you just like want to look out the window right mm -hmm. um the view is incredible. A big shout out to Jason, who was our main tour guide. Uh, incredible. So he was super interactive and super funny. Had a lot of stories about the island and the history of the island and his own personal experiences. Um, so for those, you know, should I do something land versus versus water? When you're on these land tours, if you've never done one before, specifically at St. Vincent, it's going to be a lot of, it's not just like sitting on the bus until you get to the destination and no one's talking to you. It's information the whole way. Uh, they interact, they answer questions. Uh, so we finally get there, we get to the Port Royal area. And if you're a big, it's, it's this simple. If you're a big Pirates of the Caribbean fan, you can see the the rock area. We posted a couple of pictures. I'm sure you've seen a lot of mediums posting pictures where they're like hanging the pirates and says, pirates beware and stuff like that as, as they sail into Port Royal. That You can see that rock. It is actually there. Um, and then just a lot of props from the movie, a lot of photos. There's uh, the, the caskets, the the news, like the whole thing is there. And it's interesting. I, I would say the most curious thing to me was how just movie magic in general, right? Like this place is not very big, but when you watch it, I watched back on the movie. And I was like, wow, it makes it look like it does. you're in like downtown Nassau or something back in the day. Like it is a huge area. And then the other thing I learned is the, from the first movie where they sail into the cave and they get the gold and the whole thing, the whole curse and all, all that is happening. 
That was actually done at St. Vincent as well, further down. And what they did was they hung tarps across rock ledges and the, the ships actually sailed into like tarp area. And then that's how they did the, you know, the green screens and the movie magic and everything that way. So, but that was probably the other places were cool, but I'm a big movie nerd and it's one of my, it, that and star Wars are my top two favorites. So I absolutely loved it. And then Christy, any Christy and Michelle, any thoughts for you guys? <clears throat> So I'm a big, I like to sail. I grew up in a sailing family. So we always took our sailboat, you know, we, we stayed in little inlets, things like that. So I love that there was a little inlet there where sailboats could park essentially for however long I was really into that. And just like being able to park your sailboat on the set of an old movie in a beautiful destination was really interesting to me. And of course there is a uh, black sand beach there as well. So um, they had a, a cute little immigrations office for those who like to stop in and see the immigrations office. And of course a little bar and restaurant there too, but uh, definitely worth the little hike. It wasn't too far from the resort. Um, I know that they do have tours going in and out. It is a big, um, destination for those you know day trips etc so it was really cool to see now i myself i'm not as big as a movie nerd as james is on pirates of the caribbean I've yeah seen you were like movies. whatever let's move on to the next thing <laughs> i was like where are the waterfalls <laughs> <laughs> yeah and speaking of if you get up on a boat too um i walked on the dock and got to see some really cool fish just right underneath the water it was so clear and bright blue too really cool area to go do a little snorkeling Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Anything else on that part, Michelle, that you want to No, to? and it was it was fun, actually. So it was my birthday that day. So I did a little video yes. from there to my kids back home and tried not to make them too jealous. But they had these little um, box turtles set up, too. So you could go over and see mm -hmm. the turtles and they were feeding the turtles. So that was cool to check out for any animal lovers. Oh, oh yes, I did. I now I remember seeing those little turtles. Those were so cute. Bananas. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you do take this tour and you want a good seat on the bus, a little tip trick, little tip bit here, sit on the, if you're looking at the driver, sit on the left side because that's going to get you the, the really pretty views and so you're not trying to stand up taking your videos from the other side, right? Yeah. Uh, moving on. What did we do next? Listen, so first of all, hold on. We need to slow down for a, for a quick second. <laughs> I want to pull this up because I was going through all the comments and responding to as much as I can. This is a this is amazing. Somebody on the comments literally just called you out on your seat choices. They said amazing review of the resort guys. One quick correction: the best side of the aircraft would be the left side when arriving. The right side would be if the aircraft is landing from the north, but most of the landings are from the south, so the left side is best. I need to know this person. Oh, <laughs> well, Christine. And on the way home, you take the other way. So if you sit on the opposite side, the, yeah. the, then you're good. I'm just I'm just teasing. I, I did respond to them, and I did say. I, I, in all fairness, I sat in an aisle seat. Everyone knows I love the aisle. Well, I tried to sit in an aisle seat, so I had a middle seat. Um, someone <laughs> bullied the aisle seat away from me. Uh, but um, you could see on both sides of the plane, honestly. There was, the, I, I don't know if just the way that they fly in and they try to, but you could, there was a lot to look at on both sides, honestly. Beautiful views either way. Um, I like that you added that in there. But yes, I am for sure. Uh, if you're if you're heading out, sit on the right side or on the left side when you're looking at the driver. Mm. So I'm sitting on on that side and we beep beep move along, which I love because Jason, our guide, the entire time he was giving us a little bit of history, a little bit of knowledge about the island. Not in a you know, it was in a very fun entertaining way yeah. so he kept us all the bus was quiet we were all quiet and we were listening which i thought was awesome um i love that to learn about the island so one thing that we learned is there are these art how do you say it um drawings throughout the island where they carvings where they carve into rocks so oh. that was our next destination mm -hmm. where we <laughs> went to um anybody know the um let me just no, I, I know that it had a really, oh, really crazy. amazing and a small waterfall kind of river area and it had this amazing tree that just was pink. 
Yes, it was a love tree. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I got a photo by that with all the pink flowers on the on the yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah. So pretty. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, that was beautiful. This was a short stop, uh, mm -hmm. but it was still intriguing and getting to learn. And, and again, it was about seeing all those carvings into the rocks and the history of the island. Uh, it really was kind of almost like you're not quite to the like prime destination, but you're about there. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like a little sneak peek to what the main, mm -hmm. main. Yeah, you're like, oh, that's not a waterfall. This is a waterfall. <laughs> Once we got over to the now, waterfalls. Why Christy looks that up, we can go ahead and go on to the next. We get back in the bus. We go to the next location, and he's telling us all about uh, the volcano, mm -hmm. the history of the volcano, the fact that it's active. Which, I mean, if you remember, completely freaked me out. I was like, we need to go. <laughs> like, I'm trying to go up there, but we went down to this valley, and then Michelle you basically disappeared and took off running. Yep. So I'm going to let you take take over this portion and describe kind of what you saw, what you can get to see and why why you were so excited about it. Yep, I knew exactly where to go. I <laughs> We got off the bus, took a left, started heading towards the water and it was all the black sand, which was the lava and everything coming off of it. It was absolutely gorgeous. And then um, just the whole the whole topography and the setting, seeing the volcano in the background and the black beach and then the beautiful blue ocean. That was really, really cool. I could have spent a lot of time there. I wanted to get in the water so bad, but we were moving along. I think if we really wanted to, we could have dove in the water. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it was so cool. So they said April was the year that it was always erupting and we were there very close to that day. Yeah, yeah. we a little bit nervous, <laughs> but um, it had settled. And one nice thing about it was a lot of the, after the volcano did erupt, um, it didn't affect the island of St. Vincent as much as it did some of the, the neighboring islands, but that caused for good sugarcane harvest the following year. So love how nature, mother nature works in that way. Yeah. It's interesting to hear the, the pros and the cons of the whole, you know, of a volcano in general, right? You just think that everything is bad, but then you learn that it was, it was bad for this, but then it was good for this. Mm -hmm. So really interesting. Christy, anything to add on your volcano trip? I know you lost your shoes for a bit. Or maybe that was Michelle that lost her shoes. <laughs> I didn't lose them. I just missed oh, yeah. them for a couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I highly recommend, yeah, if you are on that tour to walk down to the beach, put your feet in the water, it's, there's something different about walking along that black sand beach. I don't know if it's mm -hmm. uh, it's really hard to explain. Mm -hmm. the it is even just feeling. like the crunch underneath your feet and then yeah. the grounding energy that you feel connecting. Exactly. You have to get, go in, you know, feeling a little warm from the bus. Just put your feet in the water, come back, come back to ground a little bit. But um, it was really cool. To, I've never seen anything like that up close. So it was really cool to be that close and to see like the actual effects from the volcano. You could see the different levels from where the lava was mm. and all of that. But I love all the facts that Michelle was sharing that shows that she was truly listening to Jason and his spiel along the way. Um, but the volcano and the black sand was definitely something special. And keep looking out because I'm going to make some reels about uh, for some stuff to show you all. Um, and that will be on two BDMs and a mic Instagram here probably this afternoon after this is finished. So you can kind of see what we are actually talking about as well. Awesome. Christy, I will let you take away the last. This is the last portion that we're going to wrap up this today's episode. But. The last portion of the trip was your favorite. So yes. you ladies can take it away. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, Christy, even just think about when we pulled up with the bus, we entered, it was this beautiful grass area with really tall trees and you could just feel the vibe of like, okay, there's something really cool beyond this. And then we crossed a bamboo bridge, which it felt like we were out of Indiana Jones. <laughs> kind of walking along there. It's not that high up though, so it wasn't too frightening. I was a little nervous when they said that we were going to go across it. Um, yeah. To take over, and then we kept walking, and then all of a sudden there it was, and it was just you could hear the waterfalls coming down. So Dark View Falls is where we visited next. You know what I did not realize is that photo. There's a photo that marketing was sharing um, prior to the opening. It was a bridge and then the waterfalls. And I had no idea until I saw it. I'm like, wait a minute. I have seen that many, many times before. <laughs> and then I realized, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's what they were actually using in some of their marketing um, to market the new resort. But 
if you're somebody like me, you know, I've got a schedule when I wash my hair, mm-hmm. I've got everything down. And it was not a hair washing day for me. If you're if you're a gal, you can relate. Uh, James, maybe not you, but <laughs> <laughs> you're probably an everyday washer. But I was like, I'm getting my hair wet for this. Oh, sorry for being clean. <laughs> <laughs> but the girls that get it, get it. And Chris, it yes. was worth it to mess up the I schedule. I don't see anybody commenting, Go confirming in. this here. So no, one, no one's jumping on board with you. <laughs> and that is okay. But um, one thing I remember saying to Michelle after we had gotten out of this waterfall, I'm like, man, I just really feel, I feel relaxed. I feel very, I feel grounded. I feel just some type of calm energy around me after being underneath that natural waterfall i don't know about you see hair day is a thing i knew it i know i've seen a couple of people that say they get it they they totally understand but it's worth it to dunk your head in there i feel like it's april fools oh, they're it all wasn't like, too cold either it was a great you know, you're paying for breakfast tomorrow okay for that if you're jumping on chrissy's side then you can buy your own food tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> so oh, fun boy. Yeah, and then we kind of oh. chilled there for a little while, which was fun. Kind of watch, everyone got their pictures underneath the waterfall, and then there was like a little kind of area that you could almost like a little uh, pool, a, um, a natural pool there. And we could yeah. hang out and chill there for a bit too. Um, yeah, yeah, the waterfall that was that was just incredible. Um, if you're an Instagram person and you like those Instagram pics highly recommend it i should have taken a video of all of everybody taking videos and photos it was awesome (laughs) i think i got a couple of those yeah (laughs) absolutely now after the waterfall of course we had spent most of the day touring so we were probably pretty hungry by that point Uh, michelle walk us through our lunch experience. Yeah, the lunch was perfect. So um, we went to this really cool kind of local, um, it looked like a home actually. And then on the bottom floor, there was all open and there was a a bar in there and they let us, we picked um, our protein that we wanted. And then we came, it came with some sides that were, um, I, I, I don't remember if I've got some photos of it, but a vegetable, like a potato salad thing. And, um, and then it was perfect too. Cause it was really quick. I think we were all hungry. We ordered a couple of green beers cause it was St. Patrick's day and, um, got to hang out there. And then we were on our way home and the bus ride back felt, you know, a lot more, um, quick. <laughs> and, and then we kind of got to see everything that we didn't see on the way back. And everyone was sitting on the same side of the bus. So we were able to see some of the, the lookouts and the soccer fields and the kids coming home from school. And I know they mentioned this on the podcast before, but everyone's waving. They're so excited to yeah. see all of us there. It was really cool. I know that is one thing that I loved was almost every single person on the street was waving at us, just happy to see us. Because I mean, we are bringing in uh, more people to their island once, you know, the resort had been opened um so it's really nice to see that how excited they were to just hey it was cute it was really nice yeah that was such a fun day yes but uh all in all an absolute tremendous experience now of course this tour can be booked on island routes which you also do make commission on if you book your clients ahead of time james anything else i know we've got a um start closing up this episode yeah we're gonna wrap it up here uh thank you guys so much for you know thank you michelle for joining us and kind of going over our experience you know it was a small group of us that that got to go and experience this and there are a number of excursions on island roots so make sure you check out island roots and see all their as of right now so and i'm sure that we're gonna have a lot more coverage on that i know david black is already excited about wanting to come back on the show and we can go into a little bit more detail and and as you guys travel we would love to hear your feedback as well So please uh, don't forget, check us out on all the platforms, specifically audio platforms and YouTube, subscribe, comment. Again, something towards the end of the year, but we are picking those people based on the people that interact with those audio platforms and the YouTube channel. So please subscribe and and interact and comment and put your own feedback in. And if there's certain things that you want to see different or there's a different format or there's a time constraint, anything, any kind of feedback from you guys is really, really helpful for us. Uh, because we do this for you. Just remember, this is not just up here wasting our our Monday away. We we do this for you. It's exciting. It's fun. But we want to cater everything to what fits for you guys. So before I sign off, any final thoughts from you, uh, Michelle? 
Well, I just want to say again, <laughs> I didn't mean to make this the drive sound terrible, it, but <laughs> I just wanted to prepare everybody. So it, it's no, it's better to be prepared. What was that? It's better to be prepared because you can take preventative things yeah. to make it you're okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I was able to handle it, but I loved it. I know um, a lot of people have visited St. Lucia before and we, we kind of keep comparing it to St. Lucia, but I feel like it, it's kind of blowing it out of the water a little bit. St. Vincent is as a new destination and just, I really felt like I was in a completely different world. I've been to the Caribbean many times and I love so many of the destinations that we're part of, but St. Vincent really just completely blew my mind. I loved it there and um, just to see everything and all the you know, it has a little bit of mix of all these different um, features of the island and the people were fabulous. So I just have to say that again. Oh. Christy, any final thoughts from you? Um, I'm just so excited for, you know, one of those Minnesota or North Dakota folks to win a free trip to St. Vincent. Like I said, if you have any questions or you want some tips and tricks on how to sell this destination, um, let me know. I love to make those save and shares for you, especially with that airfare out of MSP. Um, but yes, just don't forget to add those excursions on ahead of time and, you know, reach out to the sales managers. If you've got your special clients come into resort, utilize them. We'll talk about that at a later date, but that is all for me today, James and Michelle. It was such a pleasure to have you on Michelle, you know, back to back weeks with the Midwest. We're Yay, Midwest. Here, so. <laughs> Thanks for having me guys. Listen, I'll get, I'll get David and Ian back on here, but, but, uh, that view count that Chad, that Chad posted, you know, Carly made us promise as soon as they got second episodes, we had to bring her back on because she was leading the way. But now uh, Chad Chad has set a bar pretty high. A uh, quick shout out to the Northeast team, though. Um, I don't want to give all the details, but this is for advisors specifically in the Northeast. I know we cover all of our regions uh, and we try to t keep up with what they're doing as well. So for anyone in the Northeast region, follow whether it's Ashley Danko, Carly Stonecipher, Ashley Cooker, but look on their pages and they have a TA collaborative collaboration summit coming up. Uh, I believe that's June 30th of this year through July 3rd. You have to apply through them, but that is something uh, unique to what they're doing. So if you're in that region, please, please, please look up them. Thank you guys so much. This was episode 19. We will see you guys next Monday. Have a good rest of the day. Bye. Bye.